Salute to all the real ones out there. It's your boy Mike coming at you again with another video. Yo, y'all like the content I've been dropping, the direction that my channel was headed in. I need you to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with anybody else you think may benefit from them, all right? Now, today's topic, it's a little bit of a rant off the top, but I think I'm gonna call it paradoxical nature. Paradoxical nature. All right, and the reason why I'm coming with that type of uh, topic for today is because over the last few weeks, I've just been doing a lot of observing of not only myself, but also people that I just see. Uh, Y'all already know my, my situation. I'm back in Germany now, uh, left Kuwait, and I've been trying to basically maintain a, a high level of activity, even though I'm not engaged at the moment with employment you know what i'm saying i got another job lined up but until that time starts until i begin working for that position again uh i'm keeping myself basically fit and you know going to the gym taking care of errands doing stuff for our house that's basically what i've been up to but you know over the weeks i've been just keeping a sharp eye on the things around me that brought me up to the topic of paradoxical nature because what I realized as humans like we all have things that we want but upon getting that certain thing it's almost like it has a lackluster appeal once you've actually got, gotten it so take for example you know uh, let, let, let's make it a man wants to get with a woman right so in the beginning when he's seen said woman she seems to be everything that he's missing maybe she's beautiful you know he, he pictures her being into him of course as a man you think about what it would be like to have sex with the woman and overall just making a relationship work so the paradox comes in because of course he wants this woman but it's almost like as soon as he gets access to her, i.e. he has sex with her or the relationship seems like it could work. The appeal is now lost. You know what I mean? It's almost like chasing a goal is way more thrilling and fulfilling than actually getting the goal accomplished. So I just wanted to start off there because I realized even myself as a human, there are a lot of things that I want, but it's almost like the thought of having it is more exciting than the actual attainment of whatever I'm shooting for. You know, think about the woman example. Like I've been with the same woman for over a decade. So there are definitely certain times in our relationship where I just feel more wholesome as a man you know because i've been with the same woman and our love has like blossomed over the years and there's a maturity level that you reach in a union that seems to spill over into everything else you know um before it was like a thrill of taking a a girl who's a stranger that i maybe find attractive and then basically using conversation being gifted with the ability to use words to now over time make that woman who was a stranger become someone who's so familiar that she even is intimate with me or wants to go out with me or now misses me you, you know it, it was something about being a single dude that was thrilling in that case because it's almost like a proof that you can weaponize your own attraction you know i've never been a bad looking guy but i'm not everyone's cup of tea so to take a woman who maybe maybe she ain't even looking my way or maybe she glances and thinks oh you know he's attractive or whatever but to go from that square level of being a stranger on the street to you know a few weeks later now the girl is always thinking of me like that that, that was something that was appealing as a single dude but of course taking it back to the paradox you're a single dude you have fun let's say when you're engaging a woman or you're seeing some type of results but you always long for that wholesome relationship with just one woman that will 
you know check off all your boxes right so it, that's always in the back of your mind then you get the girl and now you're in that situation but you seem to like reminisce on your single life at times and, and wish that you had the freedom to let's say talk to different women and keep your juices flowing keep your game sharp look at for example someone who is a millionaire they weren't always a millionaire maybe they always had the desire to become one or they saw that in their future but i think the journey to make that first million you know the things that that individual learns along the way that probably is going to be a point in that person's life that they will always hold sacred because they knew what it was like to let's say not be a millionaire and then they crafted a, a path that led them directly to the goal of becoming a millionaire right now they are one now they know what it's like to have disposable income in the hundreds of thousands or to you know make a certain amount per year where generational wealth is now on the horizon but if you go talk to that millionaire at this exact moment chances are that he's not going to be just you know jumping for joy as he did when he first got his million it, it, it's something that he becomes now used to and now the problems will spill over because now he's he's knowing what it's like on the other side with the pros and the cons the pros yeah he has a lot of money at his disposal but the con is you don't see maybe how many people are trying to squeeze him for money or you don't see that the debt he has because he got a new place or started a business might even overtake the income that he has right now so it's like that saying you know more money more problems but on the surface it seems like becoming a millionaire you would immediately become more happy right all of us would like to have more money but we don't think about the problems that that money entails so i just think it's interesting as a human because no matter what example you want to name or situation there's a paradoxical element to it where it's like the human will only temporarily be fulfilled you know what i mean like our emotions are so fleeting throughout a day we might have four to five different mood swings ranging from serious and grave thoughts to you know being exhilarated and laughing your ass off to the point where you have a couple of tears drop at whatever joke was told to now being bored or you see what i mean like we we, we're, we as humans are always flowing like water like we don't ever have a constant well i mean i can't say we don't ever but you guys get what i'm saying it's like no matter what you get as a human it tends to fade as far as your your level of interest you know i find that to just be really funny about our nature whatever it is that you think about in your head often even if you were to get it right now you know it, the, the, the magic wouldn't stay it's fleeting you feel happy for a time being everything kind of settles and now you're thinking about the next thing that you wish you could have so it makes me understand people who are greedy or it makes me understand the girl you think is so pretty but who is depressed and stares in the mirror and wishes she could change this that and the third about herself it makes me understand the the famous actor in hollywood that after all these years of being famous maybe kills himself or falls totally off the grid and doesn't want to want to emerge in the spotlight anymore it all makes sense you know like take my my situation with this whole contracting thing there was a point where i really wanted to go contract so i could make a, a certain amount of money and i did it now that phase is over and I'm, I'm done with it and i'm glad that i'm let's say done with that chapter and i'm ready to go on to the next but in this period where i'm not directly on the next chapter there are a lot of mixed feelings you know positive side hey i'm glad to be finished i'm back with my wife you know uh, I, i'm somewhat living a normal life i'm not like a robot who just wakes up goes to work eats comes home and prepares for the next workday. 
and I have, let's say, time for my creativity, time for other aspects of my personal development to take place, right? But on the negative side, it's like, all right, bro, you know, you are making a certain amount of money and now that money is not necessarily ran dry. Of course, I've always invested, I always have money put away in savings, but this is a period where I'm basically coasting and I'm not making the same amount of money. So you guys already see the paradox starting to set in. It's like, dang, on one side, you could just totally chill, relax with all the money that you made. But on the other side, it's like, yo, you got used to seeing, you know, plus certain amount of money hit your account every few weeks and now you're not seeing that so it's time for you to get back on the grind and work even if it's in germany just so that you have a continuous employment you know so i, I just find it interesting as humans man we're, we're just very paradoxical you know it makes me understand a lot more about just us in certain situations you know take a dude who has a happy marriage he's been together with the woman for however many years but then he just out of nowhere cheats it's of course in a courtroom yeah he's gonna be guilty anywhere across the board if a woman hears gets wind of that you know she's gonna shit on him like most women will shit on a man whenever you know a woman's been cheated on or something but aside from the right and wrong aspect i can just say i truly understand I truly understand, you know what I mean? Because it goes back to the paradox. You want a woman, you got a woman, you've been with her, you start to get comfortable, things start to die off as far as seduction is concerned. There's a level of familiarity that honestly takes away the, the thrill of the chase, right? Now another girl comes along. Maybe the dude gets those fleeting emotions of damn you know she's hot or oh man i would like to like the the mind starts playing tricks and the, the mind starts formulating what it would be like if you were to you know get that old girl there might also be curiosity as to do i still have what it takes to actually get a woman like i know what it's like to be in my relationship but i've it's been long or i'm far removed from having to increase her attraction i'm far removed from being wondering what it's like what she looks like naked or this or that like you've already gone through that with the woman you're with in your relationship and then here comes a new woman on the side that you may be seeing passing and now your mind wonders what it would be like if you were single and you had the opportunity to go for that girl you know but even if you were single and you could go for that girl of sure you would have the ebbs and flows you would have the highs of wow you know I, this is the first time i kissed her first time i took her out first time you know we did this that and the third but there's also going to be the other side the first time y'all argue the first time y'all get into a really big uh disagreement about something the first time she's sick or you know that she pisses you off you know all these other things will start to play a role so even if you were to be with said girl it would only be a matter of time before it gets to the point where it is with your current relationship. So it's almost like there is no situation that's all positive. There is no situation that you won't naturally as a human begin to complain about. So I, I find that just most comical, you know, and, and, and it's inescapable in any way you want to think about it. Man, I wish I had, let's say, a certain career, you know. Oh, I want to start my own business. Okay, cool. You got the career. Yeah, but then you see the long hours that you got to put in to make that salary. Now it's not so appealing, is it? Oh, man, I wish I had my own business. All right, well, cool. You got your own business. Now you're working for yourself. But maybe in a particular season, you're not making the amount of money that you projected, right? And now you don't have the security of being with a company where you get the same salary no matter what. No, you, you might have to cut costs. You might have to fire an employee. You might have to do... A little bit of uh consolidation in your business right so all these things you will have to experience which will give you a bad taste as far as having your own business is concerned right when the average person who's working a nine to five and fantasizes having his own business won't even factor that stuff in so you know i don't want to make this video too long but i just wanted to talk about how humans are just paradoxical by nature and no matter what we want, even if given it, 
there will be something that we could complain about or be unhappy with. And the craziest thing about it all is our emotions are forever fleeting. There might be a lingering emotion that overarches how you feel throughout the day. Like if you're a more serious person, it's understandable. You're not going to be laughing as joke and joking as much as the person who's naturally, uh, you know, goofy or takes things lightly, you know, uh, charming and things like that that person is going to have a different paradigm where you know of course they're more charming than they are serious and maybe you're more serious than you are charming but overall there is no perfect thing to get there is nothing that a human could want that when it's given they won't see the other side i.e the cons that are entailed so I don't know, you know, this was like a little rant just off the top. Let me know what y'all think, if you can agree or disagree that humans are just paradoxical. And no matter what we get, we always find a way to either be unhappy with it or fantasize about the next thing. So with that being said, you know, what I mean, like, comment, subscribe. I'll holler at y'all on the next one.